I'm going to turn my attention to the piston, which is uh, this casting here, and uh, for a change, there's plenty of meat on it. It's actually an inch and a half. It's got to be an inch and a quarter. I've got to take one eighth of an inch off of this end, which will be the top of the uh, piston. This piece here is um, to hold it while um, it's being turned. Um, so you're actually holding it from the top. I'm going to just turn that down to its minimum amount to get it concentric. And then I'm going to mount it in a collet. Um, the reason that being is when I do these internal dimensions and uh, cut out and mill these bits, I'm going to hold it in a, in a collet in the mill. But anyway, I'm also going to hold it in a collet to turn the face off and also turn this inside uh, dimension down to an inch, to an inch and an eighth. So overall width of this is inch and a quarter. I've done some calculations to get to the centre of these bosses. I need to take an eighth of an inch off of this face as well, um, which I will do in the, in the operation that I've got it in the vise to uh, get this piece of machine down. I'll take that off at the same time so then it'll go into a, a collet and sit nicely in there. Anyway, I've also got um, a couple of little grooves to put in, 1 16th, um, which is uh, 062. The rings I've measured are 061, so they're going to be okay. Um, the outside diameter of an inch and a quarter is exactly tight to the cylinder so once I get to an inch and a quarter I'll just fine tune that so I get a little bit of clearance on the um, cylinder and then it'll come out go into the mill drill out for the gudgeon pins mill out this center piece for the conrod um, which I've got somewhere yep this so I'll have to mill it out so that this piece fits and um, that's pretty much it. I think um, it's fairly straightforward. There's a bit of, uh, you can see that in there, there's a bit of, a bit of some old rubbish from the cast and something in there, but I've got to get that out because I don't want that coming off uh, at any point um, when I'm uh, running the engine. So anyway, over to the lathe. It's fairly straightforward. Plenty of meat on it. So fingers crossed, I should be able to get a good result from this one. So over to the lathe. Right, let's get this in and see how it's running. It's, 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 it's got to be. It's got a taper on it. I assume that's because it's a. Uh, I mean, I don't really know much about castings, but I guess that's so that uh, the casting uh, can, it can be released from the casting relatively straightforward. Just spin that up, turn the speed down. Hmm. Not sure if we can improve on that, but we'll have a look. If we can uh, strain it up a bit by running it up against a bit of copper. That's about as good as we'll get it, I think.
I'm sure there's a better way of doing that than that, but that's near enough. We've got plenty of uh, plenty of material, so we're good to go. It is on a taper, so I'm hoping, because the jaws aren't gripping it 100%, I'm sort of hoping it's not going to move too much um, during the, the cleaning up. But anyway, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Right, just want to touch off on that face, set the DRO, because I want to come in an eighth on that face. Okay. Right, doesn't need much more off of that. Um, let's see where we're at. We want to get it as near to a collet size as possible, really. 1327 so if I take 13 thou off of there that'll be down to 13 millimeters near enough, That's 12 and a half millimetres which will go in a 13 millimetre collet quite nicely. Good. Right, got to turn it down to an inch and a half, I think. Nope. Got that wrong. Got to turn it down to an inch and a quarter. Mm, some funny old stuff. But anyway overall we need that to be 1624 we got 1741 there at the moment what I can do I'm wondering set the cutter up there, zero the DRO out, I can now come 1624 that way. When I when I get down to 1624 I will know uh, somewhere there. Right so uh, I'll just face that off and get down to 1624 Well, we're somewhere there about 1631 that's fine I'll leave that like that because that'll leave me just a little bit just to face up on that end when I clean that up good so dimension width weight now we can start on that
Right, I've zeroed my dial because I haven't got a DRO in that direction. Right, we're 138 there now. Uh, I need to be 125, so I've got 13 to come off there. So it's another 6 thou. So if I go 5 thou and check it, I think. Thin there. I don't think we're going to get an eighth there, are we? Hmm. Looks like I've got about I'm about two thou under. About two thou under. Yep. Good. So that should. Be a nice fit now. Oh, that's perfect. Well, there was me thinking I had plenty of coverage, plenty of wall thickness, but there's no, now I've got the outside dimensions down, there is no Ninety nine hundred thou. The thickest part there is a hundred thou. Right, I've got to turn this inside dimension down now to O sixty three. Right. I've just zeroed the DRO for the depth, and I've now got to just turn that down to one sixteenth. It's going to sing a bit, I think, but we'll have to see. Five, so another two and a half. Another two and a half is the maximum I can get now. Fortunately, it's a little bit thin just on this area here. 
It's um, I think it's old. Uh, so it's 050 instead of 063, but you know there's 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 nothing I can do about it. I can't nothing I can do about it. I'm afraid. Right, got a couple of little slots to put in here now for the piston rings and then we're done in the lathe. Um, well until we bring it back just to clean up that other face. Um, but I need to make, I haven't got a, a 16th cutter so I'm going to have to grind a 16th cutter for it. Right, I've lined the uh, cutter up on the edge of this face. The first groove is an inch and a half that way. So I've zeroed out the DRO, so 1500 this way, which is there. That's 1500. Actually, I want to just. Oh, that looks okay. Right, 1500 in then. So I've gone 1500 that way, and I've got to go in 063. I've got the dial zeroed out because I've got no DRO in that access. Okay. Oh dear, what's happened there? Can you believe that? The, the tool is bent. Unbelievable. Oh dear. I think I'm alright on the groove. I don't think there's any damage done there, but, but the tool has snapped. Oh, there must have been some some weak point in there somewhere. Anyway, not much I can do about that now. Right, another tool coming up. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.